Good morning, folks. We've got some of the most extremely unexpected stories today, like a wrecking ball to paradigms, and what's more, I've given the climate scientists a day off. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun significantly interrupted by the calibration rolls of the satellite. When this happens, I go watch GOES SUVI and the Proba 2 swap in 174 angstroms. One minor eruptive action off the limb during the calibration sent a solid CME with high velocity out 90 degrees away from Earth. Promised to keep an eye on the Palma seismicity, and the 4.4 they had yesterday was indeed the largest of this entire multi-week sequence, eyes staying here until it subsides. Let's jump to the articles next, where it's geomagnetic biology in focus with studies hitting on both the oxidative stress forcing of solar activity, rather, our ability to produce antioxidants and have them do their job, and also the billionth paper tying solar and geomagnetic conditions to heart issues and cardiovascular disease. Existing CVD patients have high susceptibility to high-level geomagnetic storms. The cosmology paradigm continues falling apart as I didn't even know about this problem. Can't count all the critical problems with cosmology on your fingers and toes, but I guess we'll need to chalk another one up on the list. Also, it's been a very rough run for Axion Science here. Not just a constraint or a new limit, but the exclusion of one of the entire key models of axions altogether. Ouch. Folks, if you saw our comment section update on the mystery radio signal yesterday, please just bear with us while we catch everyone else up. While we were reporting, top scientists were crunching numbers and running algorithms trying to nail down just what that mysterious radio signal was. Turns out, it is first contact. Extraterrestrials have contacted us from the galactic center. The signal packets and repeating polarization patterns and breaks form a repeating signal that was decoded from high scramble and static to reveal the repeating message. Now, they just have to figure out what it means. We're sticking with space, and up next, it's a look at a planet that allegedly survived a red giant phase of its star and is now watching it go white. Interesting tidbits in the article, but I will admit I was geeking out a lot more on the Nova Level Outburst video literally pushing the planet outward in its orbit. That's supposed to be in Doug Vogt's reality, not theirs. Anyway, it's this one where astronomy begins to collapse. Yes, technically there's the bevy of problems we know about already, but this one hurts more than anything I've ever seen. Nuclear production across the universe might not be what they thought. The powerful magnetic fields, which are only now getting the computer juice to get into the real models, completely change what they think is happening inside stars, in powerful flares, nova, and every place in the universe with high heat or powerful magnetic fields. Some of the processes work out 100% backwards from what they were expecting to see. Folks, the stars, galaxies, black holes, quasars, pulsars, gamma bursts, cosmic jets, cosmic filaments, and the synthesis of elements across space and time. None of it is what we were told. And folks, how about a totally unrelated group of scientists saying the exact same thing, and even going a step further to say, you only need a planet to make elements, and that elemental transmutation is real. Every element under iron, which is 25 elements by the way, can be created inside the Earth and other planets, and placed on top of the previous work. This is essentially the collapse of a paradigm. The loosed arrows are just hitting the mainstream paradigm this week, but they're not going to be able to hide beneath their small shields for long. Almost nothing is as we were told. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.